Yo, what's up everybody? It's Tommy. Today I'm going to show you guys how to dress when it gets cold. So today I'm going to show you what I think is essential and what I recommend to wear when it gets cold. Give you guys some recommendations on what to buy. What is, uh, what I think is going to be cool this winter, what you should get. You know, all the avenues, you're here. Um, you know, this is the video. It's got it all. It's got it all. So stay tuned. Uh, let's just get it straight into it. The fall slash winter is a time where I think everyone really starts to dress, you know. Cold, you can start layering, you can really start dressing, you know, it's when you can pull out all the marbles. Um, I think it's the best personally aesthetically for fashion because you can layer and basically just stack on like different pieces uh, of clothing and it really allows you to be creative, which in the summertime, it's a little bit harder to be creative just because sometimes it's just hot as balls and you literally can't wear anything. I think also in the summer, if you are like, hmm, if you're really good at dressing, you can actually pull out a good summer fit, but for a lot of people, it is harder to pull off a summer fit. Anyways, today I'm gonna break down my favorite thing that I own that I'll be wearing this winter and if you're looking for recommendations I'll have some to show you guys that you guys should buy. Let's get straight into the first essential thing So the first essential thing in a closet for the fall slash winter. It's a nice pair of boots Now I'm usually lacking in this department as boots are usually insanely expensive in the past I've had like a pair of Roas pair of military boots uh, But I've never really had a pair that like I fell in love with and that I've had for quite a while You know recently I actually got a pair of these VisVim hiking boots. Yeah, I got this pair of VisVim hiking boots that I absolutely really like. I, I just hope to break them in more. They look a little weird dead stock. The laces may remind some of you of Hot Topic, but I think they're cute uh, and they give the boot more character and they let them stand out a bit. I've worn them for a while. They give freaking mega blisters. So beware about that as well. The cute laces, you know, let them stand out a bit. And I think these boots are quite versatile which is key with a pair of boots if you're running on a budget. Because if you're running on a budget, you know, you don't have a lot of money and you want a pair of boots that can go with a lot of outfits. You should find something that can go with a lot of outfits. And yeah, for recommendations for a pair of boots, you can always find an old pair of military boots somewhere. You can find a pair of Air Force military boots, which have like a middle zipper that are, you know, kind of trendy. Um, also, you know, I think hiking boots are always a classic. You can always find an old vintage pair of hiking boots that just look really great. And just look on eBay. Scarves are the next essential piece. Now I think scarves might be uh, some scary territory, but don't be shy. They're something that can really tie together an outfit. I think personally, I feel like today scarves are actually very underrated. And to be honest, they'll become a lot more popular, I think this year and years to come, just because they've kind of fallen out of public eye, I think. I don't know, sometimes it is a little awkward to wear a scarf in a warmer area. I feel personally for myself, if it's like 60 out, like. Is it appropriate to wear a scarf? That's the only weird thing I teeter on, but I think uh, if you can find a good scarf, good knitted scarf, it really can add to an outfit. You just gotta make sure you use it not on like the lattice outfit, you know, cause it's kind of a lot of piece by itself. I think they're so great because they can provide depth and texture to some of the most basic outfits. And I think they're an important piece to have because they can add so much. They are great. Hoodies. Hoodies are a classic, you know, essential piece. They're classic in any type of weather. Honestly, I think I have more crewnecks and hoodies than anything else in my closet. Um, I literally wear them all day, every day, and outside quite a lot. They are so versatile. Honestly, I really buy too many because I don't think you can have enough. I feel like everyone has, you know, the most hoodies and crewnecks. Actually, recently, I'll put it, I'll show you on screen. I recently made this hoodie and it's just in the beginning. It's like a, you know, prototype stages, but it's super oversized and a great layering piece. I'll be wearing this quite a lot this winter and I plan to uh, finalize and release them, but they're gonna be a lot better you know once i release them i just thought i'd show you guys yeah this coat is definitely cozy maxing and jedi core so for sweatshirts and hoodies i do have quite a lot for recommendations i think old russell crewnecks and hoodies have a great fit i think you usually should size up though if you're like a large get an xl you can find a ton on ebay i think vintage crewnecks are the way to go definitely oversized ones you can find basic crewnecks everywhere of any color and hoodies too like vintage hoodies way to go i'm also working on some hoodies too to release so you guys can get those if you want all right, jeans. Jeans are also essential. I think a good pair of uh, distressed Levi's, some old Levi's are, you know, they're warm. I really love old Levi's. They have a nice fade, maybe even slightly distressed because you can always find a pair on eBay or uh, somewhere else like at a thrift store or something. Very versatile. They really never go out of style, so I wouldn't feel too bad investing in a nicer pair 
just just make sure you do your research and don't get ripped off. Yeah, just a good pair of jeans, always a classic. That's what I'm gonna be wearing a lot. I don't really have many other pants other than denim. Um, honestly, I should get some more. I haven't really gone down that avenue in a while. But yeah, I, I think I definitely recommend getting a nice pair of pants for this winter that are warm. Also, you know, you can wear the same pair of jeans for a long time and it'll just add to them and make them better over time, you know? You spill spaghetti sauce on your jeans, just uh, how the world works. Next, I think this is also pretty self-explanatory, but jackets, fleeces, and flannels. Now, I know flannels have kind of gone out of style. Um, they were big, you know, in the Jerry phase, 2016, Justin Bieber, dear God, flannels were big. But I think this year, flannels might make a bit of a comeback, especially like old flannels. I don't really have one right now, but I've been on the eye for like a nice faded big flannel. Dude, if you can find a good oversized flannel, I really think that, you know, they're just classic. Can't go wrong with the flannel. Just, you should buy one if you do see one because they're kind of at the, the stage where like they're not really in style anymore, but they're slowly coming back. So put that on your radar, watch out for that. Um, Next is definitely like fleeces. I've always loved my fleeces. I've been known to be kind of the, the fleece guy. I've always had one or two fleeces in my closet. Uh, just recently I sold uh, two Rhythm Patagonia fleeces which I really regret selling because right after I sold them, literally within a matter of months, the prices doubled. I'm not gonna lie, I did cry a little bit, but dude, fleece is always essential. Right now I just have this Remy Relief fleece. It's a little small on me, kind of disappointed, but I think Patagonia fleeces are always key piece in a closet. I think they're really cozy, really warm, and it's definitely a little bit of a di different texture to an outfit. They're definitely in style right now, definitely trendy. So, you know, watch out for that. I think Capital has a lot of great fleeces, but you could find an old Patagonia fleece and be just fine. Even a new one, dude, even new ones, um, even like a new half snap or whatever they call it, Patagonia fleece would be just fine. Um, I think those are still cool, low key. A lot of people I think hate on them just because like literally like your mom and her sister probably have like a half snap Patagonia fleece, but they can look super good and you don't always have to stand out, you know, as long as it looks good. Also, I also said jackets. I don't have that many jackets at this moment. I have this like Craig Green one, but you know, that goes like bombers. I think vintage bombers definitely coming back this year. Um, jackets, Craig Green jackets, really great. Stone Island jackets, all of this. I do need some more just flannels and jackets, but there are a lot of great vintage jackets. I actually got this one that fits really cropped. Here's it on bottom. Body. Um, it's red. It's got some crazy zippers on the side. It's just a really nice fitting jacket And I think I'll be wearing this quite a bit this winter The last thing that I think is essential to for an outfit this winter is definitely accessories This is something I also kind of suck at. Um, I mean, I guess scarves are kind of accessories and but you know I'm not really a big accessory guy I kind of want to get into it because it's something that can just add a little bit to an outfit You know whether it's a hat beanie trucker hat scarves headbands as you can see my hair is just a mess lately that's why I have this on. Whatever it is, accessories are something that can really add to an outfit. Recently, something I've actually wanted to do is to um, get a uh, old like white trucker hat. Just like a blank foam white trucker hat, right? Basically what I wanted to do is get that and then put a little button in the corner. I think that would be kind of cool. That's a recommendation I have. But also, you know, you can find scarves on eBay for really cheap. I found this black one on eBay for like five bucks. We have beanies are classic, just trucker hats. Any kind of hat is great. Keep your head warm. Scarves, I think gloves too, honestly. I've never really been trendy or anything, but like a night, like let's say you had a nice pair of red gloves, right? Like uh, just one of those cheap pairs. I think that could really add to an outfit too. Just give it a little pop of color. Another accessory is probably like a backpack nice backpack where you carry around different stuff. I've had this, this right here, this North Face backpack for like five years now, and it's just good. It, <laughs> oh, I forgot to say, another thing that's essential, another thing that's essential is definitely knit sweaters. Acne Studios is a bunch of great knit sweaters. I actually have this one from Muji. It's like this white, I think it's a women's sweater, but I wear it a lot. I have it on a fit pic on my Instagram. It's great. Knit sweaters are great. They add, you know, a little bit of texture and can have some great colors and great fits too, proportionally wise. They just look cozy. They're very inviting. And it's definitely something you should have in your closet for this winter season. It's going to be cold. <laughs> yeah, this sweater did is great. Yeah. Hey, guys. All right. One more uh, accessory is socks. They're great. I think there are some fits that wouldn't be as great without socks. 
you gotta have some good socks in your wardrobe. I've said that word a million times already, but it's something that's underrated. It's something that you could tease people with, you know, give them a little glimpse. They see it and you think, you know, you can look at someone's socks and know they, they're fresh, you know what I'm saying? So get some, get you some good socks. Easy socks are good. Um, any, any socks, it's not, it's not that deep. I know Uniqlo always has like these seasonal ones that are actually pretty cool. So yeah, be on the lookout for socks. They can add a lot. Get you some socks, get you some wool ones, uh, you know, play around, uh, you know, know your options, know your avenues, you know what I'm saying? All right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> now I'm going to go and show you guys some outfits, basically some outfits I'm going to wear this winter, maybe like three outfits or something. Let me know what you guys think. These are the outfits I'm going to be wearing this winter. There's a couple, just a little tease of what's to come in the content world of Tommy Pointer. All right, guys, those are the outfits. Let me know what you guys thought. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Appreciate all the support. I really do. We have fall months, Instagram. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. I think I'm going to do like a Shia LaBeouf rating. Or no, Shia LaBeouf like style review. Or I'm going to do something else. I have a million video ideas, so I'm going to try to keep on it. But thanks for watching, everyone. I love you. You're the best. You're the best. Um, peace out, everyone. Stay, stay awesome, and stay, stay up. Thanks. <laughs>